Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, we are here with Yoki and he is the topic of our drawing class today. You see his primary red um, crepe at the top of his head. What a lovely brilliant bird. He's a leghorn chicken. He's a mixed breed with, uh, you can see brown in his feathers. That's from the, from the red um, hens that we have. And he's a mixed breed, so there he is. What a fantastic rooster we have so we are going to um, take a photo of him and then we're going to go back in the studio for us to paint him here he is Yoki and we're gonna he's going to be the subject of our painting today you going to crow for us, Yoki? You going to crow for us? Give us a crow then. Give us a crow, Yoki. Nah, he said. Maybe another day. So there you are, boys and girls. A lovely sketch of Yoki. And boys and girls, uh... Remember, Yoki is predominantly white and I'm going to give her and her crown is red, bright red. And we, so we're going to have it white and with a red crown. And remember that the feathers have a little bit of brown in it. And uh, to contrast with the red, the, um, the, the opposite of red in the color wheel is green so we're going to have a lovely green background for our bird so let's get started boys and girls with the paints so I did a quick um, underdrawing and we're gonna cover it with paint so we have wet the paintbrush and then we're going to start with the crown and it was a really bright really lovely bright red crown so that's what we're going to do we're going to add we're going to try to activate this red uh, the best we can and we're going to paint the crown in this beautiful bright red color so boys and girls i'm going to ask you you know to go ahead and draw uh yoki by tracing the drawing that I have if you just trace it um, that should be a good help for you and then um, we're going to uh, paint in the crown in red and uh, around the face just under the beak there's a uh, and if you notice his was bright the brightest red that you could possibly imagine okay and uh, yeah we're just gonna have that in a red like that okay and so I going to go ahead and paint this in white so I need to get my palette and I'm going to add some um, white paint to it so and put this aside I'm going to concentrate on this little palette right here so I'm going to rinse my paintbrush get out my white paint shake it up and then just squirt some inside our palette like that now boys and girls white reflects all different colors so for Yoki, he, he was predominantly white 
and he had some brown feathers as I pointed it out and it was more on the wings and under the wings. So I'm going to go ahead, before I put in the white, I'm going to add a brown colour. Now can you remember what um, colour that we mix together gets brown? Do you remember boys and girls? So let's take um, the orange and we're going to put it on this side of the of the we we'll just mix it on top of Yoki he'll be all right about that and then we're going to take some a little bit of blue just a little bit we don't need much so I'm just going to do that and take about that much of blue mix it up all right and so you can already see it's turning brown but I want it more a yellowy kind of color so I'm going to go ahead and add some yellow to this mixture so that I can get it um, more a lightish brown like that. I think that's a that's kind of close to the to Yoki's color. So we'll more um, it's more darker as it goes lower down to the legs, which which again was a kind of a yellowish color, wasn't it, boys and girls? So we're gonna just paint like this the brown so we're going to add a little bit more to it like that all right and then we're going to add some on the body of yoki we had some brown kind of peeping out through the abundance of the white feathers so boys and girls here we have um, our the first stages of our rooster Yoki and uh, boys and girls I'm gonna leave this to dry and then add another layer to it so uh, the chicken our rooster is nice and dry so we're going to add another layer so we're going to uh, use the orange over here and just try to add a little bit of blue to this combination again just to create a lovely brown color and we may need the yellow because uh, it was quite a light uh, instead of using white all the time you could use yellow to lighten um, particular colors in your color spectrum so we have um, that uh, let me just take one more um, let's just get some water here and then we're going to add once our brush hold on to our rag because we're going to use some blue we don't want the blue to get contaminated with the orange and yep so the brush is nice and clean so we'll just take some blue here just to make it a brown color like this and then we're going to add this um, color to the the, um, the the bottom, the base of the chicken like that. Just leave it like that. And especially in these areas here, we just just very lightly and. The, the way you use your paintbrush is like you kind of dab it, you make strokes with it rather than just painting it on. Alright, so boys and girls we need um, a grey colour. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to just put on a little bit of black. Just a tiny bit of black in our mixture here. I don't want much because we're going to add some shades. We really need the shade to show um, that Yoki is standing up on the ground. So we're going to add a little bit of black, water it down. You know, black is a very powerful color, boys and girls. So you can see that, you know, <laughs> that little bit of black and look at how deep <laughs> um, 
though the, sh the, the, the color gray is so uh, I just want it to, just to show the shadow so I'm going to go ahead and take some more and I'm going to um, add it to some parts of the um, of Yoki's feet okay um, and uh, there if you look very closely at chicken legs they have these sort of um, how do you call it it's like it's uh, rings around it and so boys and girls I'm just gonna put that in to show shadow and then down below this here I'm going to add some more so I'm just gonna go ahead and have that under here like that so that's um, for my yoki um, I think that will be enough I just want to add a little bit of yellow just a little bit um, why because um, I just want to lighten this up when the sun hits it although the day was quite a um, the day was quite a rainy day it was quite dreary uh, but I still would like to add the yellow to this part and I still want to darken the bottom part of the 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 body of, of, of um, Yoki so I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to go here and it hopefully it's going to be dark as I want it to be which it is I'm very happy about that and then I'm going to do it again so I'm going to take um, I'm going to go back and see if I can retrieve <laughs> what was left and more down here would have a shadow with the long tail feathers so there should be some um, something like that going along here like that okay so boys and girls I'm going to start with the white now like I was telling you the white um, although you know white is, is a beautiful pure color and uh, technically has it is all the colors of the spectrum um, it will also reflect colors around it so I'm going to add because of the Sun the skies above you know I'm going to add some blue some blues to it um, and greens all right so I'm um, just doing that now I'm just adding it down very uh, like um, painterly way so I'm making strokes like brush strokes like that so um, yeah let's try to get the feathers looking like feathers boys and girls and then when it's dried um, I'll get back to you so let's wait for it to dry and for us to put another another layer I wanted to put some blue maybe I should put just begin with some blue so I'm going to wet my brush and take a little bit I do not want it to be too much of the blue um, and um, let's see let's see uh, on the back of the head so we're gonna go back in some water and let's see if we can just add a little bit like that and to show some shadows um, let's just wet it again and um, where else can we put it at the back of the head because it, it can also um, add to um, Yoki's shadow you know because it's a layer of um, feathers so you know so when you go into the base of the feathers like that down here like this we can show some f shadows and so when they're on top e of each other boys and girls it can it would probably show um, shadows like that okay so yeah I think I'm gonna give this part a little bit of that blue um, with a bit of white I keep in the white on the brush very carefully and I'm just adding a little bit of water with the blue and um, I'm going to 
uh, just go over the darker plot parts um, which is under here to show the shadow and over here too boys and girls I'm just trying my best to uh, get the likeness the best that I can and uh, that's the rest of its body white and so I'm going to rinse my brush I'm going to let it dry and then I'll get back to it so boys and girls it's nice and dry and I forgot to add the shadows using the blue um, so I'm going to do that now so I'm going to take some blue and uh, I'm just going to add some shadows in this red part here um, I don't want to add the red to the, because when you uh, he, it sometimes would get contaminated so I rinse my brush again this time I'm going to add just a little bit more of the blue like that and I'm going to add it in here to make a kind of a reddish colour boys and girls and then I'm just going to go around that like that right and then just under the beak he's got a shadow like that okay and then um part of the crown of the chicken it needs shadow so I'm going to just go ahead and do that um, and then boys and girls the beak we forgot the beak so I'm going to add some yellow yeah, to this mixture that I have there and then I'm going to paint so it's like a brownish yellow color which is totally okay and I can maybe make it come this way and in some of the uh, feathers again just put it in like that okay I still need to make this a little bit more darker and the only way I can do that is by adding blue um, to the um, the color of his eyes is like a reddish color it's a orangey red so I'm going to take some of this orange that I have here and I'm going to go on the edge of the eye in orange and then the middle of the eye will be black and then I want to add some orange in the crown as well you know to add variety and stuff like that and then I need to make that orange more profound so I'll wait for it to dry and um, yeah I, I think that we've got this pretty much um, perfected the best way that we could um, so I'm just gonna maybe add um, the white coming out here like that I want to add some I want to maybe add a little bit of purple to it because I know purple is, uh, is another lovely shade to add to show um, darkness and contrast so I'm going to add some purple to this mixture and then when I finish I'm going to add some red not red sorry white because it's predominantly white so I just want to just add it so that we can see that um, it's the tail feathers can be get a little unruly <laughs> in places so I'm going to add some white right here like that but the white I'm going to mix up with the purple like that just a little bit just to show contrast I really want it to pop out um, and the only way I can do that is by adding the purple to it uh, maybe I'll have to wait for it to dry for me to get what I want here and then I want as well it to be a bit dark down here 
So I'm going to add that purple, you know, so that um, it will show um, depth, a little bit of depth. So I'm going to um, wait for this to dry and then add the background and the finishing touches. So boys and girls, it's thoroughly dried now and um, I just want to um, maybe add some whites here that it's causing a little bit of um, like it's not so clear so we'll just do that because I want you to understand that for you, white is not perfectly white you know you can add other colors to create the white that you want uh, right there like that all right so I've added all the white and uh, I'm quite happy uh, with the results um, like that and we're going to add the black to the eye we're going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to do the background okay it's dried now um, I think I really need to add the background for us to uh, see uh, what details we need to amend and add to um, Yoki. So I'm going to go ahead, first of all, before I even go in to do anything else, I'm going to do the eye. So I'm just going to take a little blob of black like that, very um, on the tip of the paintbrush as you can see, and I'm just going to pop it right there on um, like that. And then, boys and girls, I'm going to go ahead and um, try to get a lovely green. So I'm going to add some water to this. Actually, I'll spray it because I want it to be um, a light green. And, um, and uh, yeah, by having the light green for the background, we can add the different uh, uh, sh uh, shades or tints to create light and dark. So we're going to um, mix that around and then I think that would be a great color, yeah, for the background. So you can have it going like that to show that it's... So if we do the strokes up and down, up and down like this, it can show... First of all, let me just paint that in because it's close to the feathers and we don't want to get it on our little, on our lovely white feathers. We don't want to, you know, take that out. So, yeah, just going to paint around it. But, you know, bearing in mind this is grass, it's in the grass. All right. Because our Yoki, he loves to... Um, um, he likes to go in the grass, he likes to eat, you know, sometimes they eat grass, you know, it's not only the corn pellets, but they also, they love the, um, just like dogs, you know, sometimes you'll see dogs eat grass as a way of purging, that's the same with chickens, they eat, they sometimes they like to uh, dig in the the soil to get grubs and bugs and different uh, worms yeah and that mm, it's very it contains uh, minerals and which is good and essential for our body so um yeah so i'm going to continue with this green boys and girls just going to very carefully put it here and then there's some greens going in here as well and um yeah, we're just going to be very careful when we are. And down here, which it will be darker, but I will get to that like this. This should be a little bit darker. Yeah. And as it's going higher, it will become uh, uh, lighter 
in green in the green yeah all right so let's just paint that dark green that we just got here in here get some greens and in between the feathers we're going to get some greens like that and so we're just going to uh, do that you know oopsie it's a bit dry I should have added a little bit more water but never mind that's okay it's done so we're just getting in between the feet of the chicken and uh, our final touches to our yoki our rooster yoki the rooster okay so we're going to add a little bit of white to the green to just do that last part to make a tint of the green so I'm going to just get the white there like that and then you're going to take some of that green there to make it a lot lighter and then we're going to go whoopsie up here like that lovely you know the opposite on the color wheel of red if you go check your color wheel it would be green and so it really makes uh, the green really makes the ch the rooster stand out remarkably um, and uh, yeah it's you know I just put it there and then I'll add I'll just add a little bit of water here I want to add a little bit of white there because I went on it by error and I'll take a little bit of blue just to show that that's the rooster and that's not the background yeah I think that should do the trick okay so boys and girls I would just like to add a little bit more of that shade down below here to the black um, to the feet or the base of the um, rooster just to show uh, that it's yeah that's part of the, the shading and he's in some nice tall grass right there like that and so boys and girls I'm going to dry let this dry for the last time and then I'm going to add um, dimension to the rooster using my black um, crayon, pencil crayon. There you are, boys and girls. Yoki, our rooster. And I outlined it using a black uh, pencil crayon just to emphasize the form. And as you could see, the crown on his head, which is called a comb, and beneath his little chin, you have the wattle. This is known as a wattle. And boys and girls, the color of this rooster is predominantly white from the leghorn. That's the breed of chicken. But because of the white and the reflective nature of white, you can incorporate blues and uh, browns and yellows in your painting when you're doing your uh, rooster. And boys and girls, you remember the body of Yoki uh, had brown, very light brown feathers. That's from the Rhode Island red chicken and uh, but it was predominantly white so boys and girls I'm just gonna say you can um, we are concentrating on the color theory and so therefore don't worry so much uh, yourself to draw the the, the 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 rooster but you can copy mine trace the the, the picture 
and work on your colors, boys and girls. I want you to concentrate on it. So, uh, you know, try your best with the colors. Remember the different ideas I told you about. And I can't wait to see yours, boys and girls. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.